back for another video for season 8 of The Walking Dead. This is going to be my review for season 8 episode 11 which was called Dead or Alive or. So overall I like this episode but I think it was a little bit too slow in terms of us being this deep into this season and you know this deep into the war. I feel like there was a lot of pieces that were just too slow for me. And also there were parts where I found myself asking, why are we getting this storyline? What's the purpose? But I'm going to touch on those when I'm going through the list of the things that I want to talk about. But overall, I would say this was a good episode, but not a great episode, not by any means. So starting off with the whole story arc with Father Gabriel and Dr. Carson and their escape, or basically their plan after they escaped the sanctuary. Now, one thing that I want to mention straight off is I wanted to see the escape. It would have been great to kind of go back a little bit and pick up from when they actually escaped instead of seeing the aftermath and seeing them on the road because I feel like there wasn't a lot of interest at that level. They're safe, they're out. But the biggest part would have been to actually see them escape. So disappointed that we didn't get to see that. Also, the whole kind of dynamic between Father Gabriel and Dr. Carson and both of their views in terms of science versus, you know, God and everything. I feel like it was good to an extent, but it was overdrawn and repetitive a little bit. Even Father Gabriel's storyline was a little repetitive at this point. We've seen him go through the struggle of, you know, not having faith, having faith and all of that. So kind of Having that same story arc, in my opinion, was a little bit disappointing and repetitive. But we saw the end of Dr. Carson in this episode. Again, I feel like, why would you spend this much story on a character that you're just going to kill? What was this amount of interest in terms of the writers before this moment? They didn't spend any time with Dr. Carson and his story before. And then all of a sudden, when he's about to die, they just give him this massive kind of time and story. I feel like that was a disappointment. And also, at the same time, I feel like the only reason they killed off Dr. Carson is because Sadiq is introduced, they gave him a medical background in the show so that they don't have to worry about Dr. Carson getting back. And so they could basically write him off. I feel like it was forced a little bit in that regard as well. So overall, the whole Father Gabriel, Dr. Carson thing, I didn't really like it. I found it a little repetitive, a little forced, and not interesting, to be honest. And at the end, we see Dr. Carson getting shot and getting killed again. I feel like it was forced. It didn't feel natural. The whole way he was killed and got shot and everything, I feel like he's smart enough to know that that act is going to get him killed, that what he did was going to get him killed. And even in my reaction, I do mention that he was stupid. And I still believe that it was a stupid way to die. So I'm going to move on, but very disappointed with the whole story arc with Father Gabriel and Dr. Carson. Then, with Eugene getting his own outpost and basically building bullets. At this point, I am beginning to lose hope that Eugene is going to redeem himself. But I'm still going to hope. But at the same time, the more he does stupid crap like this, the more he acts like a dick the more I'm going to start to think that he's not redeemable. At this point, Eugene seems to be an even bigger dick than Negan in terms of being a leader or being in charge. So again, with Eugene, I hope he redeems himself, but it's just getting frustrating at this point. Then the whole kind of story arc with Henry, Morgan, and Carol talking about, you know, killing the guy that killed his brother and Morgan saying, why not just tell him who did it and everything. I like that, but at the same time, I feel like they're making Henry be this kind of badass, tough kid while he wasn't like this before. So it feels like it's a little forced, in my opinion. And even Morgan, I know that he is out there, he's crazy, he's cray cray, but at the same time, even to bring up the fact why not tell the kid, I feel like even Morgan wouldn't go that far. He still has that part of himself not to say something like that or think something like that. So even at that point, I feel like it was a little bit forced. And 
I don't know what it is about Carol and Morgan's story, but at this point, I'm getting frustrated with it. It's like their story is flipped. We have Carol acting the same way Morgan did in the previous season, and Morgan acting the way Carol did in the previous season. So it's like those two are flipped. So again, that's a little forced as well, in my opinion. Then seeing Maggie's leadership, I absolutely love that. Just to see how much this position has kind of moved her and changed her mentality towards things. And at the same time, what Glenn's death has kind of pushed her towards. Absolutely lo loved seeing that whole thing play out. And I'm even more interested to see even more of Maggie stepping up, being a leader, having to make tough decisions. Absolutely loved that. The whole thing with Tara and Dwight, again, that's another point in the story that I just don't get. I understand Tara wants to avenge Denise's death, but at the same time, Dwight is a resource. They can use him. He has information. He can work with them. He's been working with them. What's the point of killing Dwight? What can come out of it? What Tara is doing is irrational and it's not in character for her. As much as she wants to avenge Denise's death, I feel like at this point she should understand, you know, how much Dwight is not only helping, but how much he could potentially help in the future. And at the same time, she keeps referring to the fact that Dwight turning against the saviors and helping the group doesn't make him a good guy and, you know, doesn't make him good or whatever. Tara was in the same position before. She was with the governor before, she switched sides and came to Rick. Why does she not remember that? I feel like I'm getting a little frustrated with that as well. But Daryl sticking up for Dwight and everything, I think that was very interesting, very cool to see. Again, at this point, I feel like Daryl has not forgiven Dwight, but at the same time, he understands how much help he is and how much help he potentially will be in the future. And it's like the exact opposite of what Tara is doing. So I absolutely love that. Then we have that reveal at the end with Negan telling the saviors about this tactic to get blood on the weapons and just to get a, give a little touch to the, to the members at the hilltop. And as he says, they'll get full membership. It happens kind of like that in the comics as well. So they're following the same thing. It was pretty interesting to see that whole thing play out. I was very excited for that. And I wasn't disappointed. I think that what they gave us was pretty interesting, was pretty exciting. But at the same time, Eugene came up with that idea. I don't remember whether that was the same in the comics. I don't think it was. But, you know, Eugene, I just can't get over the fact that Eugene is doing so much to basically hurt or kill the people that he was with. I feel like it's starting to become very hard to stick up for Eugene and say he's going to redeem himself. Then at the end, everyone reuniting at the hilltop. I loved that. I think that was very cool to see. It had similar vibes as the mid-season finale of season seven, when they all reunited at the hilltop right before the war started. But everyone learning about Carl's death, a massive disappointment because they didn't show it. They just had music. They switched between different characters pretending to hear this and pretending to be shocked. That whole thing didn't work for me. I wanted to see that firsthand. I wanted that. I didn't want some montage. I didn't want music over it. So massive disappointment as well. I know that this review seems like it was all negatives, but overall, I liked the episode, even though there were a lot of things that I didn't really like. I did like the episode as a whole, and I felt like maybe some parts of the negatives that I discussed is just me being too picky. So overall, I think that it was a good episode, but it could have definitely been better. But that's basically it for my review. Just a reminder, I will be going live in a few minutes, maybe even as you're watching this, I will be live, but stay tuned for my live stream because I am going to be live tonight. I am going to be going live in a few minutes here. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.